We are going to review the Clownfish Voice Changer. Don't let the name fool you. This thing will do all kinds of wicked cool stuff, like converting text to speech. It has a fully functional music player, just like what you can do with VLC. And it has a very robust soundboard system that will allow you to do things like this and like this. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> So in this video, we will cover the full installation process and then we'll cover some of the pitfalls that you may come across. Some people are complaining about their microphone not functioning after the installation process. It's all about the settings. There are no viruses. I've tested it fully. Then upon getting that all figured out, we will get into all the cool features that this software has to offer so that you can make a wicked cool live stream for your homies at your channel. Let's, Let's get, get some. some. Electrify your online presence with live, live streaming. streaming. I provide live streaming tips and tricks on software and tools that make your live stream super addictive for your viewers. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for new video notification every single week. Okay, let's go into Google and type in clownfish voice changer. Okay, there it is. Click the first link that pops up there on the left and in the upper navigation you see a button called download. Click that and you're presented with all these different downloads. If you have Windows 10 on a newer computer, you're obviously going to want to select download 64-bit. So do that. If you have an older computer with an older operating system, you'll want to choose 32-bit. Uh, uh, I want to let you know that this will not work on Mac computers, okay? This is a PC-only tutorial. Upon downloading that .exe file, then click the Soundboard Download button, and that will download a zip file to your computer. And I want you to expand that once you download that into your Downloads folder, okay? Cool. One of my viewers made a fantastic comment on my three Soundboards review video. That was Lairs. Thank you very much, Lairs, for letting me know about this fantastic software. If you have a question about this video, make a comment. I will do my best to help you get your version up and running on your computer. I hope we don't run into too many problems with this, but out of all the software programs, it looks like this one can give people trouble. So don't be afraid to ask a question on comments. I will do my best to get you up and running. Also, if you want to reach out to me personally, I love email. You can get me at YouTube at bluefoxcreative.com. Now, the footage you see right now behind me is me recording my screen to show you the installation process when I click the .exe file that installs the actual Clownfish program onto your computer. You'll notice that it's shutting down your audio service and shutting down the audio endpoint builder on Windows, okay? And then what it does is when it shuts that stuff down, I think it drops in another program so that some changes can be made to your microphone and how that microphone ports the sound into Clownfish and then from there out to your speaker. So if you have multiple microphones plugged into your computer, it's got to make a judgment call as to whether or not the right microphone is being used, okay? So it could be after you turn on the program that the wrong microphone has been chosen. So what we'll do now is restart the computer and then we'll go back in and test it to see if it shows the right mic. Okay, when starting the program, if you told the installation to create an icon on the desktop, all you have to do is hit the Windows D key and you'll see it. It's a unique graphic. There it is right there. If you don't see it in your desktop, all you have to do is go into the search bar in the lower left hand corner and type in the word clown. C-L-O-N. Boom, it finds it right away. That's how you find it. I'm going to double click it right now. Watch what happens. Boom, nothing happens. You're like, what the heck is going on? The program, is it, did the installation even work? The answer is it is running successfully. You have to operate the parameters of this program in the system tray. So here it's showing up automatically. You may have to click the up arrow also to get to see the program. Right click on it, and now you're presented with the available parameters. Now remember, we're going to check to see whether or not the right microphone is being used for it. Okay, so I'm going to go to setup system integration and it brings up a window and you can see all your uh, microphones and all the devices that add sound to your system and you want to make sure that your mic has the word remove next to it because the necessary drivers I'll say are installed for the microphone so if you look at the list and you see that your microphone has the word install next to it you simply want to click install 
it will activate your mic. Let's quickly review some other solutions if you continue to have problems with your microphone. Number one, make sure that when you go into the setup for Clownfish that there's only one mic set up with the necessary installation. Don't have more than one remove listed here in the list, okay? Number two, unplug your USB microphone if you have a USB mic. Then go into the system tray and right click on it, hit exit, and then plug your mic back in and then restart Clownfish. That's a good one. Number three is to remove any other voice changing software on your computer because there's gonna be a conflict with, with Clownfish. So uninstall it, uninstall Clownfish, restart your computer and then reinstall Clownfish, all right? The software has really matured over time now. The problems are getting less and less, and those are the three big ones that cause the majority of issues. You may get some echo if you have both the hear microphone and hear music checked off at the same time. You are gonna wanna uncheck hear microphone. Let's move on to all the capabilities that the software has to offer. There's some really good ones. Okay, I started Clownfish, it is running. If I go into the upper arrow here in the system tray and right click on Clownfish and set, Voice changer by left clicking here. You get this window right here. And the first section is the meat and potatoes of the program. This is where you have all the super cool effects like male pitch, female pitch, helium, baby pitch, radio, robotic, all the slow motion mutation, fast, yada, yada, yada. You click the clear effect in the lower left hand corner to turn off the stuff. There's a pitch parameter here if you click it you can adjust your voice with, with the slider on the fly which is really wacky and cool i'll clear the effect right there there is a silence button so if i click mail pitch and click the i'll clear the effect and it turns off the silence button i'm not sure the purpose of that parameter if you know why they have that let us know in comments the effects mixer is really cool. There's an arrow on the right here. It opens up a little side window. I have the uh, old radio selected and it will combine it with the male pitch. Let's make it the female pitch. Let's see here. Where is that one? Here it is. So when I close that and click the, the effects mixer, it's actually combining two voice changer parameters into one. That's super cool. The next thing that's awesome is the vocoder. And what this does is sort of takes a waveform and combines it with your voice to make another sound. So you have all these cool waveforms to choose from, plus you can add your own. For example, I'm gonna add this sound. So when I add it to the system and I hit the vocoder button, it gives me this effect. Now my voice has the sound of a mud bubble effect. The sound effects are best used when you select one of the voice changer parameters. So, for example, if I touch the female pitch and then select the church uh, delay, delay effect, effect, you get, get this, this different, different de delay, then they have this kind, kind of a delay, delay then, then there's this kind, and this kind. But I want to warn you that, that if you select the sound effect by itself, you're going to get this wicked weird feedback sound effect. Check it out. So don't select the sound effect by itself. It gets really wonky fast. The next parameter is the microphone sensitivity. It is incredibly aggressive. I would recommend not going more than halfway up on the slider. I keep it really low. Basically, it's a noise gate. When your voice reaches a certain quietness, it cuts it off to zero, and it will modify how you sound in your audio, and I wouldn't use it very often. The append original voice parameter basically means that your voice is added to the voice changer as a second layer so that you can hear the spoken word a little bit better. So experiment with it and have fun and then we have the ap apply effects to the music sound text to speech checkbox and that basically means when you check it off the effects are added to the text to speech feature we'll cover that later in the next video we will be talking about the text to speech feature the music player and the soundboard plugin that you downloaded in this tutorial i look forward to showing you you can click that video right here if you have any questions about this software, if you're running into any problems, I will do my best to help you in comments. I look forward to talking with you. Stay strong and keep fighting. All right.